Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today I'm looking at the new pepper from Biaje, the fat jalapeno, P-H-A-T, fat. Here is how it arrives in its typical little foil top. There you see jalapeno, jalapeno. And as you remove this, and it easily removes, it just pulls right off. There's what you're left with. That's it. There is the cigar, the fat jalapeno. Now, this is not the first time this size has been there. It's a little plumper version of the jalapeno. Last uh, last year, the 2019 release of the Biaje Ghost Pepper was this size. And by the way, it is 5 and 3 16 by 55. Details of the blend are unknown. Typical Biaje. Um, but the other sizes, if you're wondering, well, how much bigger is this? All right, this is five and three sixteenths by 55. The others are four and seven eighths, so a little shorter by 50. So I'll give you a little comparison. There's your density. It's a nice looking cigar. I actually like it. Um, it's got a very pronounced little foot there you can see the shade and shininess of the wrapper so let's get right to it the new viaje fat jalapeno alrighty it might be tough to judge the uh, draw having to pull through that it's not bad. It's a little tight, but I think it'll loosen up because it's going to expand right here and go right on up. I want to light it with a three torch lighter. I want to just light that tip. So I'm going to try. Very sweet start. You can tell it's a lot of chocolate in it, a lot of citrus, a lot of black pepper. You initially get a nice little burst of orange citrus, but it's quickly followed by chocolate. So it's almost like chocolate covered orange. Quite a bit of uh, brown sugar and the cinnamon. The cinnamon is tingly. The black pepper is very intense. It's it's. Probably close to an eight, seven and a half to eight. In the midst of the uh, citrus and maybe some cedar, uh, brown sugar, cinnamon, there is some butteriness. It's very rich. The cigar is rich. The chocolate doesn't hurt it from richness of either. And there's a nice black coffee base. It's not doesn't. It's not much of a stand out black coffee, but it's there. I mean, you know it's there and you taste it, but it's the, what you taste of massively sweet flavors. So it is not out of balance. It has plenty of lower notes, but you can't help but notice that rich sweetness. So that's how we start. Very good start, actually. And uh, I hope it keeps up. So let's see. Well, I'm not at the first third. You can see I'm only at what? about an inch in but and i've been doing editing on the initial uh, phase there so i wanted to come back because well before this point probably a quarter half inch in the cigar started to settle down and get very rich as it already was but it's a lot more sweeter notes of caramel the pepper is might be ticking up it's a lot of lingering black pepper Lots of nice sweet chocolate. Oh. The finish is actually nutmeg, big shocker. 
and a little a hint of citrus and a little caramel. So it has a little sweetness and a lot of a black pepper. Absolutely like you had the black pepper on your kitchen table, put it in your hand and lick it. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's very intense. Medium to full. And I think it might hit full. But it's very sweet. All the flavors are there, I said. The nutmeg is there, and it's not intrusive, but it acts as a go-between, as a joiner, as a binder. The black coffee is just ever so so slightly ticked up, and it's a very balanced cigar, in my opinion. It's, it's just got so many nice flavors. I'm going to rate it at this point anyway. We'll, we'll give it four ratings. What difference does it make? It's 96. It is excellent. It is so rich. Oh, God. It's almost, it's very much like candy. It's very rich. And for a pepper, Viaje pepper, it has lots of peppers. Some of them don't. It's a little deceiving. But this one so far has it. Now, my first third, I have it on my screen here, is at 3.2 inches. Doesn't mean anything to you. But uh, we got a little ways to go. And I'll either come there or maybe I'll do it in quarters. But at this point, it's 96, folks. It's good. Well, we're getting close to what I'd call the midpoint. And it's changing a little bit. We're getting a little to a little smaller ring. And what's happening is more nutmeg is coming out and taking away some of that richness. You still have basically the same flavors, but the nutmeg is taking away some of them because it has risen. Very close to full body. The finish is more nutmeg also. And the citrus is gone, but there's a little bit of caramel left. The lingering black pepper is still pretty good. I find the black pepper on the front end is still pretty good. I think it has actually toned down just a little, but it's still very good. It's very tingly. There's more of a cedar on the front end. No more citrus. The caramel is coming through with that nutmeg, and they sort of combine. The brown sugar is just slightly decreased. It's still sweet, but not as sweet. So for the midpoint score, I'm lowering it to 94. Still good. And it's a 94, but it's not a 96 anymore. So let's see what the third quarter brings as we get just a little bit smaller range. very close to what I'd call the third quarter. And the nutmeg is still elevated. You have from the midpoint to now, not a lot has changed, only some of the uh, cedars slightly decreased. The chocolate is still pretty evident. So it has sweetness. The coffee is nice. The cedar is slightly decreased, like, it, you know, it's just barely from what it was. It's just a little bit smaller ring. And uh, everything is just kind of followed the same pattern. Very full body. Finish is pretty much unchanged. Following that pattern of slightly decreasing here and there, I'm going to drop it to 93. Still very good. Not like it was when it started. When it started, it was amazing. It's not quite so now. Still good. We're going to get to the smallest part of the ring now. Between now and the end. So we'll see if that does it, how much that affects it. But uh, that's where we are. <laughs> Well, 
we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Here are the very final stages. You have a lot of chocolate. The sweetness decreased. A lot of coffee. Very full body, just as I said, very full body. A low cedar, decreased brown sugar. It's a very slightly cedary chocolate cigar. It's very full body. Finish is actually nutmeg and some chocolate with lingering black pepper to still pretty good. It just, as it got smaller, it just, you know, he lost a little bit. And that's not totally out of the realm of possibilities. But uh, for the final quarter, I would drop it to 92. Still good. You know, nice chocolate. Just, uh, nice, nice notes. But I would go with 92 for the final quarter. All in all, very good cigar. And it's got some power, folks. It really develops a lot of power. But uh, definitely the first quarter is the high point. It is simply amazing. You'll see that if you have one. So just look for that. Your overall score is 93.75. And that is accurate. I believe that's appropriate for it. So there you have it. The new fat jalapeno from Viaje. 93.75.